Now let's take a look at how we can put this slide inside the slider. So when the user open the website, you can see the automatic slider. So what we need to do is we need to just grab this slide and put that inside a slider. So in this course, I'm using a swiper slider. So I'm just going to search for swiper slider and click on this swiperjs.com. Swiper is one of the most popular and modern slider. Swiper slider can use with many framework just like React, Swelt, Vue, Angular and so on. So let's take a look at how we can use this slider in Next.js. So I'm going to click on this get started. You can see to use this slider, you need to first install this slider using npm command. So I'm going to copy this command back to my project, open a new terminal, enter into my project and here I'm going to execute a command called npm install swiper and I press enter. This is going to install the swiper library in the project. Once I have it, just out of that, you can see you need to import that library in the project and then you can use that library by creating a new instance of it. Now you can use this technique in the vanilla JavaScript. Now as you know, we are working with Next.js. So instead of this documentation, you need a documentation for React or you can say for Next.js. To see that documentation, just back to the Swiper homepage and here you can notice you have these frameworks. Just click on this React. You have this React documentation. You can see we already installed the Swiper. Just out of that, you have to export two components. First is Swiper and second is Swiper Slide. Using this import statement, you can import both these components. So I'm just going to copy it and import that at the top, right up here. After that, you also need styling. So import the swiper style as well. So I'm going to copy and paste the style as well. And just out of that, inside your component, you need to create a swiper component, something like this. And inside that, you have a child component called swiper slides. These are all your slides. Let me just copy this default code and paste it in my section one. Before this slide, right up here, I'm gonna paste this code, something like this. Now, let me just align this code properly. Now, let me just save the changes, back to my project. And you can see, I'm gonna have this slider. It's super easy, right? To add this slider in the Next.js application. Now, if you want to add more slides, you can copy and paste these components. That's upon you. Now what I want instead of this slide one, slide two, I want my slide function. So I'm gonna get rid of all these slides and instead of this slide one, I'm gonna grab this slide, this code and put that right here. Just out of that, I'm gonna duplicate this statement multiple times. Let me save this. You can see I'm gonna have my slide here. But what I want, I want only one slide per page. So when you back to the swiper, then you can notice you have some properties here. Space between, slides per view, and these are some events. Here you can notice you have this slide per view. What I want, I want only one slide per view. So I'm going to pass here one. Let me save this. I'm going to have one slide per view. Just out of that, if you want to do some extra work with your slide, then you can use this on slide change event. Or you can also use this on swiper. If you open your console, then you can notice when you reload it, when you swipe, you have this slide change console message. You're also going to have this swiper. Now I'm not using both these properties. So let me get rid of it. I'm also going to remove this first space between. Now just for that, I want to specify automatic sliding to this slider. I'm going to just pass a property here to the swiper, which is auto play is equal to and then pass here an object. And inside this object, you have another object. And inside this, you specify the delay, 2000. Means after every two seconds, I want to slide this block. Let me save this and show you the result. Oops, something went wrong. So what you have to do is, you have to use the swiper core module. To automatically slide this slider, you have to use swiper core modules. So you have to import swiper core from swiper. And with this swiper core, you have to add auto play as well. And then inside your function right here, you call swiper core dot use. You're going to telling the swiper that use this middleware and add auto play slide. So I'm going to call here auto play in the array. And now when I reload the browser, you can see 
after every two seconds wiper is going to automatically slide this slider you can also loop over the slider using loop property loop property is going to be true if we specify loop true then this will loop over and over again to the slides you can find these properties inside the documentation of a swiper right inside this documentation you can find all the properties right here now once you understand how you can use a slider next i'm going to show you how you can create this latest post section